So I'm going to press Control and click down here, and I've got my 136. Hey everyone, if you've ever wondered if you could measure things in Cinema 4D, it's absolutely possible and I'm going to show you how right now. So I'm just going to create a very simple object, let's go for a platonic object. And I'm going to convert it down into an object by pressing C on my keyboard. And I'm just going to scale it so um, I get different dimensions when I use my measurement tool. So let's go for something like that. Kind of distort it slightly so we get different lengths on the object. So to use my measurement tools, um, I can just go to, uh, I'm going to right click up here in my tools and I'm going to go down to customize palette. And in my customized planet palette, I'm going to search for measure and I'm going to get this tool called measure and construction. So I'm just going to click and drag it up here in my toolbox. And I'm just going to select my object. I'm going to go to measure and construct construction. Sorry. And down here, as you can see, I already have a measurement showing up on my object. It's basically assigned to nothing. There's nothing connected to my object. It just says 1000 millimeter. And before I start, I'm just going to double check that my scene is uh, scaled properly. So I'm just going to go, I'm going to press shift D, uh, sorry, control D to go to my project settings down here. And as you can see, my project scale is scaled down to centimeters and I'm getting millimeter measurements. I just need to change that quickly. I'm going to change it to millimeters. And just to be 100% sure, I'm just going to go also to my edit and go down to preferences. And under unit, I'm going to check that my unit display is also millimeters. So now I've got um, preferences in uh, millimeter and project settings also in millimeters. So now I can just go ahead and start measuring um, lengths on my um, platonic object. So to use the measurement tool, I'm just going to go to, I'm going to click on the tool up here. And down here, you can see I've got measurement and construction zero, which is my first measurement, which is this one. And if I, to use the tool, if I can just, if I just click on a point, it gives me the starting point of my measurement. And if I click, if I press shift and click my second point, it gives me my measurement. So that's 151 millimeters roughly. And uh, also what I can do is add another measurement for um, another axis um, uh, line. So basically this is for my X axis and I can also add a Y axis measurement. So to add my Y axis measurement, I can cont press control and click on my second point. So from here, from this point to that point, I've got a measurement of 204 millimeter. This has given me my X measurement and my Y measurement on this object. So for each measurement, you are allowed to add more than one point. So this is two point. Uh, you are allowed to add more than two measurements. Sorry. So this is my Y X measurement and this is my Y measurement. And what I can also do is I can add more measurement to my um, scene. So if I go down here, you can see you've got a new measure option. So if I press on new measure, I've got another measurement called measure construction one. The first one was measure and construction zero. So this one is measure and construction one. And I can do the same thing with that one. I'm going to go from this point to that one. And I'm also going to do a secondary measurement from this point to that point. So let's go and do the first one. So I'm going to click on the point and then press shift and click on my second point. And that gives me 181 millimeter. And I'm going to do the same thing from this point to that point, but this time pressing control and control click. And I got my Y measurement, which is 136 millimeter. And I can just keep adding measurements by pressing the new measure tool down here. And it's just going to keep adding new measurement to my scene. So I've got a third one here. I'm going to click here and then shift click down here. And I'm going to add another measurement from here to there. So I'm going to press control and click down here. And I've got my 136. So this is how you measure things in Cinema 4D. I know that this is not a uh, well-known uh, feature or tool in Cinema 4D. Most people don't know how to do this or if that is even possible in Cinema 4D, but it is, and that's how you do it. So I can also remove my measurements down here 
So I can just delete my measurement, go back to measurement construction one and delete that measure two and I'm left with one measurement. And that's how you measure things in Cinema 4D. I hope this has been uh, useful to you and I will see you in another video.